against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. But a scratch. I like it, Kaji. One eternity later. Hola, niño. <laughs> I'm in danger. The Cromwell freaking slaps. At 3.7, just what a fantastic tank. It's got it all, baby. Speed. Armor. Incredible gun depression. But I'm telling you right now, to succeed with the Cromwell, you have to treat it right. You can't treat it as a stepping stone to get to the higher rank tanks. It is the only tank you will ever need. Now sadly, I will never be able to use the Cromwell to its fullest potential. For the one sole reason of me being an American! But I can give solid advice for playing this tank, even if I am just a yank. Now the first thing you want to do is never remove it from your lineup, ever. You see, that will anger the tank gods, and they will smite you with their tools of the apocalypse. The Cromwell performs incredibly at 4.0. That's when you'll see most of Germany's glass cannons with the Panzer IV and Verbalvind. Now. Don't worry about the other tanks like the Stug or Hetzer, they just require a bit more subtlety. Now, when you first get into a game, find the point you want to go for and immediately take the least obvious route possible. The Cromwell is an incredible ambush vehicle. You can play it very aggressively, but it's more of a passive aggressive playstyle. If you zoom to the main road and then just book it to the point, a German will rip you in half. Go for flanks and stick to cover. Hills are especially useful because the gun has more depression than a Billie Eilish fan, meaning you can show as least of your tank as possible, also known as a hold down position. Now, the reason you are flanking is to find those oh so sweet broadsides. Which is honestly the best way to fight the tanks that are going to give you trouble. Remember how much trouble those Hetzers and Stooks are? I don't, because I just left the lack of turret on those things. I even used the Cromwell at 4.7 fighting Chohis and Tigers. And they are certainly more trouble, but you can use the same strategy and take care of those as well. Maps will also make or break your games. I've gotten 12 kill games on Sweden or Tunisia but wanted to pull my hair out playing the maps that just involve fields, like Normandy or Poland. Large open areas are the bane of the Cromwell's existence. Your only option to survive is smoke grenades. Smoke grenades on the Cromwell are great. They get you out of sticky situations a ton. But a lot of people use smoke defensively, when they can be used just as effectively offensively. Look at this clip. I get shot by this stew, but somehow, by the grace of the snail, I bounce it. 
I use the smoke grenades to slip away and start my flank. This Stug is so used to people using smoke defensively that he pushes, expecting to find me in the smoke, helpless. I thought he was smarter than that, so I checked the corner I was expecting him to be and saw that he wasn't there. My mind goes, no, 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 he did not push, did he? I thought it was obvious that I wasn't there. I look to the right and lo and behold! What are you doing, step- Tank. Dead. It's moments like this that make me feel like a galaxy brain strategist. You'll find that using smoke offensively fries the brain of your enemy. Not all the time, of course, but you'll be surprised. When it comes to modifications, I don't really pay attention too much. But what I would say is to get the better shells and the smoke grenades as soon as you can, and then work on everything else. It's only a 3.7, so it shouldn't take too long to upgrade. In conclusion, use the Cromwell correctly, and it's really good. Now get out there, and make some scrap metal. I know this video to my normal viewers may seem a, to come out of the blue, and I would like to know if you liked it or not, so make sure you let me know on the Discord. And if you're new, it would be great if you hit like or subscribe to my channel just to help it grow. Thank you all for watching.